Kerry Downs, who's the executive director of the Flint Community Education Initiative, a very cool organization that provides free wraparound services to support students, families, and teachers in 13 different schools in Flint. Kerry, thanks for coming on with us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So I've heard this phrase, community education, which kind of ties into the whole takes a village sort of mentality. Can you elaborate on that idea? Yeah, well, really, community education has deep roots in the Flint um, community. started back in the 1930s with um, C.S. Mott and with Frank Manley. And over the decades, um, it did um, eventually come to an end, I'd say probably in the 90s. And in 2013, part of the Flint City Master Plan, they held forums across the city of Flint and asked the community what they wanted investment to be made in. And unanimously, the community said they wanted community education back. So we have deep roots in Flint, but it's been reimagined since 2013. We started out in one school piloting um, pretty much wraparound services with an integrated approach with the school day staff. And we've expanded to 13 schools as of last year. Um, really thinking about what do students need and what do families need so that when they're in the classroom with their highly qualified teachers that they thrive in that learning environment and they're ready to do great learning and that teachers can do great teaching. Well, how does the community get involved? I mean, what really is community education? Yeah, so it really is creating the schools to be the neighborhood hubs. Um, and so at 13 schools, we have a community school director who serves there full time, um, and they really do a needs, about, assess, excuse me, a needs assessment to find out what that particular community at that school is, is wanting, what they need, what they're interested in. And then the community school director creates um, and partners with as many organizations as we can to bring those services, opportunities, and supports to the students and families right at the school. So the so school no becomes like the, uh, uh, it's not just a place where you take your kids to, to uh, you know, study for, from 8 o'clock in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. It's where you might come for, I don't know, uh, some social services programs or some uh, adult education things or adult group activities or things like that. What are, what are a couple examples? Yeah, and I would say yes to all of that. Of course, we offer expanded learning opportunities for our students in the after-school time, but we also have adult education. Just recently, last year, we had 18 community members complete their GED through one of our elementary schools. And the elementary school didn't actually put the GED program on. We brought a partner in, and they hosted it at the school. But we also do health services. We have a great partnership with Genesee Health Plan. So we have community health workers in every single school. So there's really um, that school is a one-stop place to connect with all the resources that you you need not just for your student to thrive, um, but for your whole family to receive right. services and support. And I also see that during COVID, uh, a lot of your prog- uh, programs went online. Uh, and some people might say that's not going to work in Flint, but you actually had some surprising success with it. Tell us. Yeah, we do. So, I mean, of course, we do have some students that did not thrive with online learning, and all of our sites now are offering a hybrid option for students during the day school. But what we did find is that we did meet a need for a lot of the adults and probably some of our older students as well who are thriving with the online resources. So I have to tell you, we've never had such a response to online Zumba classes, right? But it does make Uh sense, right? It doesn't matter what gear you have. You're in the comfort of your own home. You've got some privacy to be able to engage and do some great physical activity. So really increase, I would say, adult engagement and then um, bring lots of opportunities for our students, maybe delivering um, learning kits at their doorstep. So then when they signed on for online learning with one of our partners, maybe YouthQuest, our lead youth partner in the after school space, kids had all of the equipment and all the supplies they needed at home because it was delivered to their door and they could engage with the after school staff online virtually. Great. Sounds terrific. Thanks for all the good work you're doing there, Carrie. Thank you so much. We appreciate being on the show. Carrie Downs, Executive Director of the Flint Community Education Initiative.